one new exhibit really goes out on a limb to give you a bird's eye view of nature. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is Paul Meyer, the F. Auto House Director of the Morris Arboretum. Thanks so much for being with us. It's great to be with you. Before we get into Tree Adventure, your new exhibit, talk to us a little bit about the Morris Arboretum, really this enclave, this, this almost oasis of a setting. It's really a beautiful place. Well, the Morris Arboretum is a public garden. We're located in the Chestnut Hill section of Philadelphia. And it's really a green oasis. We're very fortunate, not only with the Arboretum's 170 acres, but we're surrounded by open spaces uh, that include the Wazikin Valley and Fairmount Park. Really a chance for us to explore some of the best that this area has to offer. You have a wide variety of plants and trees, a beautiful chance to come out and relax, but also learn about some species that are native to this area and how those are cared for. Exactly. You know, so many kids today live in a very urban environment. They're very connected with their, mm -hmm. their electronic devices. And we really believe that it's important to get kids out and reconnect it with nature. And one of the ways you're doing that is through this new exhibit called Tree Adventure. Five years in the planning process to come up with what is one of the coolest things that we are going to experience when we visit the Morris Arboretum. We've been so pleased with the way this has turned out and we're finding that kids are loving it as we planned but the adults are loving it just as much. At our opening we had toddlers and we had people in their 90s and they were all out on a limb and really excited by it. One of the neat things about this is that regardless of age, regardless of your physical condition, you can almost feel like you're still climbing a tree like you did when you were a kid. Exactly. We have there's a central pavilion, so you feel like you're in a tree house. There's birds' nests. There, there's the squirrel scramble, uh, which is a hammock-like netting that's 50 feet off the ground. So there's plenty of opportunity for fun and excitement, but it's all very safe. Let's talk a little bit about how this actually works because it's a gentle slope. We, we move up a hillside and get to the point where we're 50 feet up in the air and we have this bird's eye view what it would like to actually be on a treetop. Well, we're taking advantage of the natural topography, so there's only a very slight incline to get up 50 feet. But as the land falls away and you're going out on the platform, you're higher and higher off the ground. And as we move through, we have the chance to explore and learn. And one of the really neat things for kids and adults as well is your giant bird's nest. The bird's nest is really to talk about the forest and trees mm -hmm. as habitat. And uh, of course, it's habitat for birds as well as many other creatures. And within the bird's nest, there are three robin's eggs. Uh, giant eggs, which you can sit on if you like. All right, and help those uh, along the process in, the, in, in getting them to hatch. Now, the squirrel scramble, you mentioned the chance to really feel like we're a squirrel up in a tree, but you mentioned the idea of habitat, habitat preservation. This isn't just fun. This is a way to learn about nature and really experience things that animals would experience and really work to protect their environment. Exactly, and one of the, the points that we really want to get across to our visitors is that we need trees and trees need us. So we need trees for habitat for wildlife. We need, a, need trees to protect our watersheds. We need trees to produce oxygen and to help cool our homes. And uh, the trees in our communities are just so important to the future of the, our communities. Let's talk a little bit about your passport to adventure. This is a way for kids to interact, families to interact with this exhibit. The passport is a brochure, and uh, the out on a limb, the canopy walk, is one station of five that are located throughout the Arboretum. So it helps guide families throughout the entire Arboretum. And at each station, the family can then stamp their passport. And then uh, there are various activities at each station that, again, that help them understand why we need trees and why trees need our help. But you say we can take simple steps and we can learn about them at the Morris Arboretum. You know, the simple step of planting a tree is so meaningful and so impactful. It can have such impact on our communities, but also is a very good teaching tool for families. All right, a lot of great information, and Tree Adventure is ADA compliant. Anyone can visit, and it's a permanent exhibit. It's a permanent exhibit. We hope it'll be there 100 years from All now. All right, thanks so much, Paul. It's a pleasure to be here. We've been talking with Paul Meyer of the Morris Arboretum. I'm Jill Horner for Comcast Local Edition.